Hey guys, happy Monday. I'm just out here um, enjoying this beautiful day, listening to some worship. One of my favorite songs is playing right now in the background. Um, I don't really have anything to share, but just the anointing on this song is just so incredible. I just wanted to invade Facebook now. So when you are clicking on my live video, you're hearing this anointed song. And it's, uh, I'll be happy to share uh, the link on YouTube if you guys want. Just send, uh, I'll put the I'll put the link in my comments, but yeah, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful day. It's Monday and just, just taking it all in. I had a chance to go to <clears throat> church yesterday and uh, I was just reminded by one of my um, close friends who's also a pastor who I absolutely love. And, you know, he, he said like, we need to go to church so we could recharge and just pour out to people the, the rest of the six days and it's so true you know I, I find ways to get close to the Holy Spirit by listening to worship music listening to teachings but you know there's really something about being in a gathering and actually uh, in a corporate gathering and just praising and worshiping and listening to the word it, it really does something and um, it's been long overdue for me to attend church and I have uh, several churches that I I try to visit um, so there's three of them and I <clears throat> love the people of all three churches um, and I just try to just um, visit and try to you know go to those churches and um, so I went to New Covenant yesterday and it was beautiful and amazing and I intend to uh, go back to Freedom House soon who I, I love Freedom House I love Campos Family Vineyards uh, such an anointed property I love it and then I love the worship center they're over on G Street in Antioch I just love the, the leadership of all three churches you got Pastor Kim and Bert Marino at the Worship Center. You have <clears throat> Pastor Scott and Lynette Perky at Freedom House. And you got Pastor John and Lori. <clears throat> I, oh my goodness, I'm like having a blank with their last name. John, Thomas, hello. You got the <laughs> Got Pastor John and Lori Thomas with their children, um, Danny, who's uh, the worship leader, and uh, and their daughter. Um, um, oh my gosh, I'm just totally running a blank right now. I feel so embarrassed. Tasha, and you got Tasha who runs the the um, the uh, you know. The children's the youth I love them I love all three churches I, I love them all so dearly and they've all been uh, in an integral part of my uh, my growth and my spiritual walk so I intend to go back and uh, visit the remaining churches but I can't forget you know my core you know what started all was just going to an Orthodox Church and uh, what the Orthodox Church, Greek Orthodox Church, brings to the tables is beautiful. You know, we're all the body. One church isn't better than the other. We are the church. It's not a building. It's the people. It's the spirit that lives in us. So it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it's good to have a home church, but don't let that stop you from going to church if you don't have a home church yet that you could call your own still go and that's what I realized yesterday like I'm like thought to myself gosh you know I don't even know what church I really belong to so why should I even go but you know what that's the enemy because you need to um, you need to not be isolated you need to get plugged in 
You need to be with uh, the the church body and just love on people and uh, just get the word. And um, so anyways, yeah, um, you know, not all churches are the same, you know. We're a body, meaning, okay, there's a head, a hand can't be a foot, and a foot can't be a hand, an ear can't be a mouth, and so vice versa. We all have an integral part that's very much important for this world. So instead of like focusing on which church is better, focusing on how can we reach the lost? How can I as an individual be Jesus throughout the week and love on people when they don't even know God? Isn't that what it's about, being the light? If we're going to church and acting one way, and throughout the week we're cussing and, and being very worldly, how are people even going to know? We, people know us by our fruit. So, that's my quick little message. <laughs> Wasn't even planning on uh, saying anything, but I felt like, well, here we are. <laughs> Anyways, let me just show you a nice view. It's just so nice right now. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm thankful. Thank you all for joining. I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this up. And um, have an amazing and blessed week. God bless you all. Take care.